You want to build search functions into your social network in Wix? If so, join me on today's video where we'll start part one of building out the search function so that way you can search throughout your social network and search for members, search for content, all of that fantastic search type functions. Now, before we get into the actual meat of today's video, I've done a whole series here on building a social network in Wix. Click the card above if you have not caught up on all the videos in the series. They all go in order and help you syn uh, in synchrony build a social network in Wix. So you want to make sure you're all caught up with that. So click that if you have not caught up yet. If you have caught up, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below so you don't miss an upload over the next couple of days as I've been releasing a daily part of building a social network in Wix. Also hit that subscribe or excuse me, hit that like button if you've enjoyed the content so far and comment down below if you have any feedback input that you'd like to see for the next few videos of building a social network in Wix down below in the comments so that way I can go ahead and curate the content to those specific needs. So let's jump into today's video guys, wixtrainingacademy.com. Click that academy button, pre-sign up to all the Wix training content, tons of webinars, masterminds, all that good stuff. Go check it out. So yesterday, uh, or excuse me, today we actually built out our, um, our, uh, our, uh, excuse me, we built out, sorry, the liking system. So we built out the light, they're all running through together now. So we built out the liking system. So what we're going to do today to prep our actual search functions that we're going to build out is we're going to build a page. In fact, it's going to be our search results page that displays the profiles. So in this portion of it, I'm going to show you how to build out the search function that will display all the profiles. So all the users on your social network. So people have the ability to search for them. However, this can be applied to anything on your social network as long as you search those databases and you use the code accordingly. Now in this portion, again, this is part one of building out. I'm going to show you just the page to design, just the search results, dynamic page design in tomorrow's, I'm going to show you actually the physical code and how to make the function happen to search for those users. So let's jump into creating our page. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close that for right now. Um, we're just going to go up here to menus and pages and I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, what? we'll actually pull out our, uh, our little tree here and we're going to create a, yeah, we'll go static. So we'll go add a page and then we'll just call this search results. Okay guys. So we're going to build out the search results page. So just like in our statuses page, we want the user to be able to see multiple different profiles. So if they come to this page, it'll have preloaded profiles on there and then we'll actually build out the physical search bar so people can search specific users from that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to build out that page. So we need to go back to add and then we have to add a repeater because there's going to be multiple items in here for multiple profiles. So we're going to go down to lists and grids and we're going to find one that'll better suit the whole concept of profiles. So we know we'll want like images. Uh, this could be a good one right here. Let me just continue to cycle through, pick what one I want. Okay. So this one would not be a bad choice right here. So we can go and we will pull this as our repeater. So I'll drag this out and then you can see it resizes like that. That's perfect. Now what we have to do, so we have our repeater. So this is where our profiles are actually going to be stored. This is where, gonna, where they're going to be housed. You guys can design the repeater how you want it to be. So however you want your profiles to be presented on this search page is how you're going to want to make your repeater styled. But if you like this style, then feel free to go with this style because the reason I chose this is because we'll have the profile image here. So the profile picture, we'll have the user's profile name here, the user's at name here, and then we'll have the user's bio there. It was just easy. It was already set up. It was already built out. And all we'd really have to do is change the design and the scheme and the colors if we really wanted to change it up from where it's currently at. 
So with that said, now we have to actually go ahead and connect all those things. But in order for us to connect those features from the user profiles database, we need a data set. So we need to go back to add and then we have to scroll down to database and then click data set. Once we pull our data set in here, we have to double click on it and we have to choose what collection it's pulling from. So we're showing user profiles. So we're going to pull from the user profile data database and then we're going to leave the option on read only and you could choose how many profiles you want to display on the search result page. For now, I'm just going to say 25 and then we'll, I'll show you in a separate part of this series pagination. So how to add like, you know, um, what pages one through 25 and be able to go in between pages and that type of thing. I'm not going to show that in this one specifically. Um, I'm going to do an overall pagination one because we're going to need that on several parts of this social network. So that'll be a, a part of the series by itself. So we add 25. Okay. So now we've got our data set on our page here. What we have to do now is we actually have to connect our data to the corresponding part of the uh, repeater. So this picture here, we want this to be connected. So we're going to click connect to data and we want this to connect to, we want one, it connected to the user profile data set and the image source will connect to profile picture. So this will connect to the user's profile picture. And then we want the next part, the user profile data set. And then we want this connected to full name. We'll click that and you'll see it's connected with the green connected to data. Then we want the at name right here. So we'll connect to data and then we'll choose handle because that's the at name. And then finally we'll connect to data and we want this to be the profile bio because that's for their bio. So now we've got a good little display of the user profiles right here. Um, this is a nice feature. It's going to be nice, especially when we go to search it. So now if we click save and then we go preview, we've got nothing on there right now because we have no profiles in the database. But if I went back, or if we click publish and we take a peek at this one, let me add a page up here so that way we can actually access it because of course, one thing we have not done on the social network yet is add a menu. So we're creating our own scrappy menu. Um, we'll just call this search, not like that. Search. Mm. There we go. Okay. So search right there. We're going to link this and we're going to link it to uh, search results page. All right. Now if we click publish, we'll take a look at it in the publish look, see what we've got going here. We go to search. You can see we've got nothing on here. It's just the standard repeater. That's because there's no data physically connected to it right now. So that's the issue with it right now. There's no profiles in the database. So what we have to do is we actually physically have to add profiles in order to get it to show up here in our, uh, in our search results page. So again, what we're doing right now is we're prepping the search results. So we're creating a page that will feed back whatever the user searches for. So this is where the profiles are going to be stored. So the user is going to have the ability to search for profiles. So this repeater represents the profiles that will be housed in the user profile database. So when someone searches, which again, we'll build out the physical search function of this part tomorrow. So when someone searches a phrase or searches someone's name, it'll pull based off of the results and it'll display just like this with their profiles in this format, just like this but we have no profiles to pull from right now. So if I go back here to the user profiles, user profile data, I will, uh, I will go ahead and add one in here. Um, I'll just, I'll just pull some random stuff real quick. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll go, 
we'll say that's the background we'll pull this this will be the profile image so that pretty looking man right there full name Michael Strauch handle at Strauchy profile bio CEO entrepreneur oh, and you can't forget guys I'm a coffee enthusiast it's not how you spell it enthusiast perfect that's our profile bio uh, profile location I'm out here repping in Gilbert Arizona right now and then profile website well let's hand over to handy dandy wish training Academy and then we'll add our website right there like that perfect now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync this to the live database I'm gonna copy these over to live so now what should happen is because we have this page set up the search results page should work now at least pro uh, uh, adding one profile in there let's see if not we'll, we'll figure out the the whole schema of it tomorrow when we actually get the the search functions in here okay so let's uh, let's figure out what's going on here um search results page you guys get to work through this with me uh, okay so this shows user profile data and it should be connected. Oh, why didn't this connect? Well, that could be a problem. That's connected. Okay, well, this we, we may have our issue here, guys. I don't know why it didn't stay connected there. So if you go through, you can see I determined that it did not stay connected so those connections did not stay or maintain connected why I don't know that's connected it's connected okay let's give it a peek now I don't know that was weird there we go okay so now we got it so our issue guys was that um, and, and this is part of the process if something's not showing up correctly you got to make sure that you know it's okay you got to go back debug it figure out what's going on I determined that when I went back into the editor that our uh, connections did not successfully occur so the connections from the data set to the actual physical data in the uh, repeater did not work which means if we created a search function we would have had an issue there because the connections wouldn't have been made so that's why we're doing this as one part in of itself, getting the search results page done. So that way it's prepared for when we prepare our search function tomorrow. So I did create, if you guys remember correctly, I created a profile back when I showed you how to edit profile data um, in part nine, I believe. So it shows both of those profiles here. We've got a blank box here because there's um, three boxes here in the repeater uh, that are preset and we only have two profiles but as soon as uh, that that a third profile is filled out it'll start to fill in exactly as is um, because that's how the repeater works it shows 25 items that's what we set it to um, so so that's how that works and you can come in here and you can manage items uh, and you can see there's three items currently and that's how that would work and it would just be duplicated as you add more profiles so that way you could search it so guys, that is creating the search results page. That's literally what it is. So we prepped our search results page. So that way tomorrow, it'll allow us to actually search that database and display the proper information, the proper profiles right here. So I'm glad we got that set up. I'm glad we've got that working. I'm glad you worked through it with me. If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. Thank you guys so much for this whole 12 days of Christmas. Your support is outstanding. I've seen so many of you come out and tell me how big of a help this series is which touches my heart like you wouldn't believe because that's what I want I want this content to be extremely valuable so if you do find it valuable drop that like don't forget to hit that subscribe button if I've helped you out at all at any point in this series and so you don't miss any future uploads especially over the next couple days up until Christmas while I'm releasing one new part of this building a social network in Wix series each and every day and comment your feedback on this video in particular and what you'd like to continue to see in this series so that way I can curate this series specific to you because that's how important this is to me to make sure that you get the best quality possible. 
If this, again, helped you out, please don't forget to do any of those three things, like, comment, or subscribe, and head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, click Academy, register for free, guys. This is tons of free Wix training content. I built it out for you. Utilize it. Check out the forum. Check out the community, masterminds, all those good things. Other than that, I appreciate your time, and I look forward to catching you on tomorrow where we're going to actually build out the search function. See you tomorrow.